Good morning. I have just been to Buckingham Palace and accepted His Majesty the King's invitation to form a government on his behalf. We also chatted about inheritance tax and I gave him a few investment tips. Right now, our country is facing a profound economic crisis caused by Covid, Putin's war in Ukraine and above all by my predecessor Liz Truss, who I want to pay tribute to now. She was not wrong in wanting to create growth. I admire her reckless, uh, restlessness in trying to achieve that. However, some mistakes were made. And by some, I do of course mean loads of. These mistakes were not born of ill will or bad intentions, but huge stupidity. In many ways, it wasn't her fault. Can you blame a toddler for burning down the house? Perhaps we shouldn't have given her the matches in the first place. I have now been elected, in the sense that nobody voted for me, to fix this. Think of me as a cleaner who comes in after a large party to... Uh, actually, no, not a, not a party. That's a... No, scratch that. There will be difficult decisions to come. I have to decide who will be in the cabinet for a start. I mean, have you seen the state of them? I will have to use compassion. Also massive cuts to public services, so there will be some light relief. You know me. You saw me during Covid doing everything I could to spread the virus with things like eat out to help out and continually ignoring three million people with my support schemes. We will not leave your children or your grandchildren with debt or a functioning state. My children will probably be fine. I want to pay tribute to the incredible achievements of Boris Johnson. Without him, everybody would remember that I had to pay a fixed penalty notice too. I treasure him, and like treasure, I hope he is put in a vault and never heard of again. Now here comes the science bit. The mandate that Boris Johnson got in 2019 was not just his mandate, it was a mandate for the whole Conservative Party. The same Conservative Party who just voted for Liz Truss and must not be given any influence ever again. Don't think too much about this bit. That mandate was all about the manifesto. Not liking Boris or Brexit or stopping Jeremy Corbyn. No, it was about all of those things that we just can't stop talking about, like levelling up. Is that still a thing? It is for now. All I can say is that I am not daunted. I stand here today as a very rich man who is sure he should be in power. I'm not sloppy seconds and you can't convince me otherwise. Together we can achieve incredible things. Massive profits for our friends and huge transfers of wealth to the least needy. That's the future that I believe in. A future worthy of the Prime Ministers we've had to sacrifice. And one in which we will fill tomorrow and every day thereafter with hope. The hope that I can't be as bad as the last two. Can I? Watch this space.